All right, guys, what is going on? I am the one, the only, the W-O-O-K-I-E, joined here by a big Z. What's going on, big Z? That's me. Um, The Keyforge world is going nuts today. We just lit it, it on fire. Yes, lit on fire. That's right. May 29th, uh, the entire face of the Coda meta. That's Call of the Archons has changed, and it's not because of Age of Ascensions being released tomorrow. It is because two. Yeah, there's there's a couple other ones, but there's two significant card changes, some slight rule changes that will affect some other cards, but mainly two card changes that uh, are going to shift in a drastic way what future Vault Tours will look like. Oh man, it, it's really gonna change it. I just a bomb today. I, I didn't. We had a whole just to let you guys know, we had a whole episode planned, and basically yeah. now it just went to shit with <laughs> with, this with, is, this with is what true. dropped today. Yeah. So today, uh, in one article released by Fantasy Flight, um, we have the their whole write up thing. They have the the new rule book. So if you haven't checked out the rule book, go check out the rule book. Look for the red text. Everything else is the same. So just look for the red. Um, but in the article, they address the two big things. Yeah, they address uh, library right. access and bait and switch. Which one do you want to start with? Um, we can reference the Pit Lord to at the, uh, at first because that's actually those. So there's three. So Pit Lord, right now, prior to today, if you had a Maverick Pit Lord, you basically have a card you have no idea what to do with. You have a card that says you have to play dis. There's no dis in your set if it's Maverick. And there's no dis in the other two houses. So that ends up generically being, what do I do with this deck? This doesn't work. I just discard it. Now they're saying, if you have that scenario, you play Pit Lord. You get the two amber. You have a taunt creature that's a nine. You can't call dis um, anyway. So you just pick the cards from your house. So Pit Lord becomes an actually amazing maverick. If nothing else in your deck has dis. So basically the ruling came down on the Crucible cast mm -hmm. that can't trumps must. And it followed up in the rules update today. So go out in there and search for them. I think I did a search. I, I believe there's less than 20 decks in the world right now that actually have Pit Lord and no dis in the set. So if you can find one of those 16 decks, you probably have something that's a lot of fun. Maybe some secondary value, but honestly, I would probably be most interested if I could find like Untamed Pit Lord with Witch of the Eye. Yeah, it'd be pretty sick. There's no taunt in Untamed. If I could slap that bad boy down with two amber next to next to my Witch of the Eye, I'm gonna be sitting in a real nice spot for that game. Um, so that would be something cool to see. Not sure if we're gonna see it. Did any um, did you do a search to see if there was even a deck out there, Untamed Pit uh, Lord? I, yeah, I, I didn't. I didn't go that far into it. I think when I did the search, there's only like 16 that pulled up, so I haven't really looked at them for that specific combo. But there's other stuff in other houses. Like, I mean, like if you could have, I don't know, like what, what's something that never gets used because it's never safe? Like, okay, all right, how about how about shadows in Coda, which is still good, even though we're gonna talk about something that's making them a little bit lessened. If I have Pit Lord, Smiling Ruth, Shadow Self. Come on. How sexy is a pit lord next to a shadow self with smiling roof on the other side? It's or hot. bullet eye. Something over there. Like, right? Yeah, it's hot. You've got a nine, and then another nine, and the taunt is going to kill almost everything that attacks it. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's, 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 there's a lot of fun Mavericks out there with pit lord now, if you can find one that doesn't actually have disc. So that's, that, that in my opinion, would probably be the, most valuable maverick that you'd be looking for to pull right now it's not going to be competitively the best but like it's going to create some really really fun decks because if you've ever seen or played a pit lord you know what happens next you lose um mm. like <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's, it, that's generally what happens i can't refute that like, yeah that's normally what happens matter of fact someone played one against me yesterday with an uh, with barring that card a pretty good deck the game didn't go much longer <laughs> Yeah. Like, I, I, I think I found a way to like kill all my creatures, and then I was just you know amber rushing with actions, and it was over real fast. Like, and he gets to reap for one. How exciting! Yeah, like, yeah, he gets to do a few things on his turn, and eventually has no discards left, and I'm still going through my deck, yeah. smiling the whole time. 
But uh, we got that on the Crucible oh. cast. But I, I think the big bomb. There's two big yeah. bombs today. Obviously, library access, bait and switch. Drummer yes. not. We is now in the second revision of its now errata twice. So yeah, uh, we're getting I, it together. In my mind, I feel like that's how it was always going to go. I actually interpreted the way they changed it. Um, it is now, but we can get to that later. Let's go ahead and get get let's, to one of the big ones. Let's get Let, right let's start in- with to library access library access has been eroded and now it reads for the remainder of turn each time you play another card draw a card purge library access boom that gets some rid people of all are pissed pissed i've talked to multiple top players today some on my own team they're like how can they do this what's going on here i'm leaving the game Luckily, no one on Team Sass, uh, the luxurious play style, is leaving this game. We're still here to play. We're going to love the game that we have played thousands of times among us, continually. But but no one. But we're, we're but we, there are some some hurt feelings here because there's some major decks in our set. There's some major combos that we love to play. There's some major things we like seeing that literally were obliterated today. Lart is gone. Like that is library access access reverse time, and that was already the hardest loop combo to do, but it was the most rewarding for a lot of people because it was fun and hard to execute. Lands the easiest of all of them is absolutely wiped off the the face of the game. It doesn't even exist. The thing you were targeting C with will never hit the discard pile once played. <sighs> Yeah, so, and uh, more or less, I mean, it's not completely gone, but more or less OTK is done. There's going to be some stuff out there, and we could talk about a different episode about what OTK still is in the field right now. I believe there's actually some OTK that's going to come in AOA, but uh, for that's a discovery thing, and we can talk to more as it unfolds. But yes, the, the big lands phase shift, key charge OTK or Chota is gone. Rest in peace on this day, May 29th. I believe it was somewhere around 12 o'clock Central Time. Yep, it was 11.30 when I got sent the article. (laughs) Something like that. So, I mean, there it is. I I mean, it's over. And let's be honest. All of us are, uh, dare I say, veterans of past Mm -hmm. card games, whether that be Magic, L5R. I mean, you, you name it. All of us, I'm sure, have played another ccg or tcg in our lifetime you yeah, had to know I, I that the goodness magic wasn't gonna at last. the time when dark ritual i believe became restricted or something like it was so long ago for me i think that was the term where you can only have one of them yep restricted and like and i was like i played mono black most decks back back then and that i mean i had four of those in every deck i ever owned or ran like, why wouldn't you like, why wouldn't you? I mean, like, that is, I mean, it's not exactly like LA equivalent, but that's a pretty dang close effect of what it can do for you in that game. Yeah. But so moving like as far as like the why. So they explain the why in the article and whether you have hurt feelings or not about this. And a lot of us hurt feelings come from a loss of investment. And I get it. I'm affected by that, too, here. But like, I love this game and I want to play this game for the next 20 years of my life. And at an enjoyable competitive level. So I'm just um, going to give you kind of a little read off of uh, their reasoning. Yeah. Um, library access is the heart of the combo that has been stirring up discussion among many player communities. This card in conjunction with other cards like library or Nepseed and reverse time allow you to play library access multiple times in one turn so that a player can draw their entire deck in their hand at once. If it goes off. For their decks can either repeat the combo every turn for the remainder of the game, or if the deck composition is right, immediately win the game by forging three keys in a single turn. These decks put intense pressure on the metagame, requiring many players to be ready to counter these decks to keep them from dominating. On an even bigger problem with these decks, though, is just how long the combo takes to perform. Mm -hmm. It can sometimes take upwards of 15 minutes just to walk through all the steps of the combo. This isn't a fun experience during tournament play and is disruptive to the overall timing of our tournament rounds. To improve the experience of this card, it has been changed to the following. Play for the remainder of turn. Each time you play another card, draw a card, purge, library access. With this change, library access can still be used to make a good Logos turn into a great Logos turn. 
but it can't be recurred multiple times to allow the player to draw their entire deck. 